I just recorded a podcast with a gentleman on real estate and Bitcoin. Listen to these numbers. This is to, to, to kind of illustrate it from a perspective that everyday people can, can understand what I'm talking about and why so many people are being duped right now. So go back to before COVID, okay, the January 1st, 2020. Back then, in, in the town that I live, uh, a middle class home was around, you know, maybe upper middle class was around five hundred thousand dollars to own a house if you were going to buy it. Okay. Um, today, that same exact house goes for a million dollars. Okay, it's only been four years. Four years in that house has appreci has appreciated. And I'm using air quotes here because once you hear the math, this is going to blow your mind. Is appreciated to a million dollars. Well, if you're a millennial or you're somebody that's trying to buy a house now, today, and not four years ago, listen to this math. That $500,000 house compared to the million dollar house today, because interest rates have changed because inflation is now manifesting itself. Back then, that $500,000 house you could buy with a 3% interest rate loan. But today, that same house, that million dollar house is 7%. So guess how much more expensive your monthly payment is on that house from just four years ago? It's not twice as much. It's 3.2 times higher than what it was just four years ago. So if, you're, if your monthly payment on this house was, you know, uh, let me see what the numbers are here. Um, well, I, I did a net present value instead. So the, the net present value when the house was 500,000 at 3% was $758,000. Today, the net present value of that house is $2.4 million. What? Um, okay. Because it's a million at 7%. Okay. Now here's the thing that's really going to blow your mind. You ready? That house back in 2020, in January of 2020, was 70.2 Bitcoin, okay? You know what it is with the million dollar in fiat terms, uh, what that house is in Bitcoin today? It's 22 Bitcoin, okay? Wow. So that's a 68% reduction in the price of this house for a person that uses Bitcoin as their unit of account. 68, the house price went down by 68% in the Bitcoiners world. But in the fiat person's world, the price went up by a, by a hundred percent. It's twice as much, right? This is why people can't understand this because a person who's looking at this, that just looks at Bitcoin as being some made up Mario coin, internet money is, is looking at this and saying, oh, if I would have just been able to buy a house back in 2020, I'd be, I'd have 500,000 bucks if I levered it. You know, if I levered up, I would have $500,000 in my bank account right? That, that's what the, that's what the person, that's what the no coiner is telling themselves. They're being rope doped into this old legacy system by the numbers and what they think is increase in buying power. But for the Bitcoiner, they're looking at this and they're saying, I don't want to, I do not want to uh, move from the house that I'm in right now. I don't want to buy the, the bigger house. I don't want to buy because the value of this thing is going to get cheaper by 68% every four years. Wow. <laughs> it's yeah. it's mind-blowing. And I think the numbers are so the, the numbers are so lost on people because people don't look at Bitcoin performance in four-year periods of time. If there's one thing I would I would highly encourage for you to talk to family and friends about is period holding periods under four years get more and more speculative as you get further to the left in that timeline. So like if you're talking a month's performance of Bitcoin, it's insanely speculative. Once you get to that four year threshold, I don't think it's speculative at all. And the proof in the pudding of that, did you ever see the circular uh, chart with the price, how it never penetrates a, a previous no, rational period route. of time, four years? Yeah. Rational root has an amazing chart on this. That is, that is the thing that you got to focus on is a four-year holding period because it's truly investment at the four-year holding period, at least based off of historical performance. And if people can, can somehow shift their line of thinking to this as their unit of account and holding period, let me tell you, like your life just starts changing in dramatic ways, dramatic ways. Cause I'm the person who's looking at the house and saying, I'm up a hundred percent. I'm looking at it and saying that house just got cheaper by 68%. 
it, it uh it reminds me of the Ross Stevens uh, annual shareholder letter where he talks about, you know, it's impossible to overstate the advantage of being on the Bitcoin standard. And he talks about his firm and he says our firm compensation, rent and total expenses are up 89%, 119% and 69% in fiat and down 36%, 26% and 43% in Bitcoin. And so yeah. it works for everyone. It works for individuals. It works for corporations. You know, life is getting cheaper for Bitcoiners over time. And it's uh, people who hold fiat. Everything is getting more and more expensive. And that I think that that separation between Bitcoiners over a long period of time, people who hold better money versus people who don't, I think that's going to get more and more stark and people are going to understand it. Mm -hmm.